defects in casting as the casted pot when we take the pot after the solidification process it consists definitely some kind of a defects so we will go through the defects what are the defects so among them the first one is a misruns so basically casting so suppose if you observe here so this is the caster this is the mold which we need to prepare so in this particular mold this is this particular portion okay you can able to see some white space so this white space is called as a misrun where the molten metal completely does not solidify and leave some space so what are the reasons for this one so fluidity of the molten metal is insufficient pouring temperature will be low pouring is then too slowly and cross section of the mold is too thin so these are the various reasons how the misruns are going to be occur in the mold cavity next one cold shards so cold shards basically it occurs whenever we are having very small amount of gates here so this is our gate so small amount of gates and there will be too many restrictions in the gate so you can observe here this is the core cavity here there is some kind of an obstruction where the molten metal does not enter into that particular pot and it leads to some improper formation of the casting so that is called as a cold shut next scabs so scabs are the kinds of patches which will be there on the top surface of the casting so if you observe this this has a casted parts so you can see some extensions so my our our uh, mold will be basically it is a rectangle shape but some extension has been happen on the top surface so this is called as a scab where on the upper surface so the reason for this uh, scabs formation are uneven ramming of the sand as well as slow and intermittent running of the molten metal which it is coming through the cavity next one is blow hole so blow holes are the holes which are excessively smooth depression on the outer surface of the casting where some quantity of air will be there inside the mold cavity due to this one the casting will not able to occupy the entire mold cavity and leaving that air remained at one particular corner so here how this bolt uh, uh, blow holes are going to be formed the other name for this blow hole is a sand sand blow also okay so if if at all the moisture content in the molding sand is high so due to this one the evaporation rates will be higher because of the high heat of the molten metal so then also we may get this uh, kind of uh, uh, blow holes as well as low permeability of the sand hard ramming of the sand defective gating system and improper venting system these are the various reasons how the blow hole is going to be occur next one pin holes formation so this pin holes are formation formed due to the gases during pouring and consisting of many small gas activities which are slightly formed below the surface of the casting okay so during the solidification process only this pin holes formation will be takes place and next one is a mold shift so mold shift means suppose in the uh, mold making process we have discussed that crop box and drag box has to align exactly so if there is any misalignment in the crop and drag placement then it is going to be resulted a shape like this like a small mismatch has been occurred here okay so mismatching of the top and bottom parts of the casting as well as misalignment of the pots or whether it may be a box or whether it may be a pattern also some cases damaged pattern also will try to give this case and misalignment of molding box or flask equipment as we have discussed and this is related to the potting line okay with respect to potting line this this kind of defect is going to be occur so this kind of defect can be easily identified by seeing the outcome of the casting and the next one is core shift so instead of this mold if i try to have a core in between this in between the parts so if core is having a misalignment then we are talking about the core shift and it is caused due to the buoyancy of the molten metal also so core is a free part which will be there inside the casting so if the buoyan if the metal casting is having large amount of buoyancy and due to that one the part may try to come upside so then this kind of core shifts are common next one hot tearing 
so hot tearing occurs when the casting is restrained from contraction by an unyielding mold during the final stage of the solidification so during the final stage of the solidification whenever the early solidification is going to be happen in the in the in the part there might occur some kind of cracks on the top surface of the pot or the or the uh, pat, uh, mold which we can able to see it here okay so these are the hot uh, tears and the reasons for this one is abrupt changes in the section inadequate filleting of inside corners and improper placements of chills so chills we basically we will try to use it for direct solidification process and poor collapsibility of the mold and core material which plays an extra stress on certain details and improper pouring temperature also so initially the temperature will be very high later on the temperature is getting reduced so then also the hot tearing is going to be occur hot tearing other name is hot cracking next one is a shrinkage effects so shrinkage effect uh, occurs on the surface of the casting which results in unequal contraction of the metal during the solidification okay so the metal is getting shrinkaged the reason is improper location of the size and gates of the runner inadequate risers sometimes risers basically it is used for direct solidification so that's why lack of direct solidification okay next incorrect metal composition and incorrect porting temperatures so these are going to be leads the various kinds of shrinkages on the casted surfaces and this also can be easily identified by seeing the casted part next one micro porosity so micro porosity it is basically a network of micro voids which are distributed throughout the casting which is caused by local solidification shrinkage local solidification shrinkage of the final metal in the dendrite structure so this defect is usually associated with alloys many of the alloys okay because of the protractor matter in which the phasing occurs in this metal and this can be identified by using the microscopes only that's why they are terming it as a micro porosity actually this will these holes will not be visible for the diagrammatical representation they have shown it as a visible holes